What's up YouTube, hey, C 494 here. And right now I've got two guns from Ogburn Combat Development that I'm gonna be evaluating. So I wanted to use factory ammunition. Uh, one of them is a 224 Valkyrie. Um, it has arrow precision, upper and lower receiver and handguard. Geisley SDE trigger and a white oak armament plus two gas system, uh, but a white oak armament barrel. Um, and then it's got a Night Force SHV scope on it. And that's what I'm going to be shooting uh, in the 224 Valkyrie offering. I'm going to be shooting 88 grain Hornady ELDMs. Um, and I'm going to be using the Federal Match, using the 90 grain Sierra Match King 224 uh, Valkyrie ammo. Um, the reason I chose those ammo, uh, both types of ammo, is because Federal and Hornady, I've had good luck with both uh, pretty consistently. They are expensive. Um, and the reason that I chose the heavier projectiles is because, for, to, in my opinion, it doesn't make sense to shoot the 75 grain bullets and 60 grain bullets and stuff like that out of a 224 Valkyrie. The point of the 224 Valkyrie is to get the higher BC heavier bullets. Um, out of them that you can't get out of your regular uh, 556 gas guns because I can shoot 75 grainers out of my 556 gas gun and get similar velocities so it doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, the other gun is a 6mm Creedmoor, not 6.5, 6mm Creedmoor with a Bushnell Scope uh, Badger Ordnance M2 uh, 2013 Action KMW Sentinel Stock. CG Jackson trigger and a Bart line one and seven twist barrel. And uh, I'm gonna be shooting that one as well. Uh, I'm gonna be using 105 grain hybrid burger federal ammunition and 108 grain ELD match from Hornady. So these are the two guns I'm about to shoot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot a five round group with both types of ammo out of each gun. Uh, and then I'm going to chrono said ammo, but I'm only going to get one reading of chrono uh, off of them. And then I'm just going to play a little bit at four, five, and six, and then tell you what I think of the guns. Um, a little bit of uh, backstory on these guns. So since both these guns belong to uh, Jamie Ogburn, the, the owner, um, he's a one-man operation. He's a machinist, so like that's what he does. Uh, he loans these guns out as um, T&E guns. So these are the T&E guns, but they uh, he also shoots them in competition. So this one's shot in a bunch of competitions. This one's been in a couple competitions um, and won competitions. So. I've been beat by both of them a couple <laughs> Ash times. Ashton's been beat by both of them. Anyway, all right, so let's see how they do. Stop that video. All right, so I'm about to use the 90 grain Federal uh, Sierra Match King ammo and I'm going to shoot a group at 100 yards, a five round group. Uh, if I screw one up, it sucks. This ammo is expensive, so it'll be on me. But I've done a lot of dry fire with this gun just to make sure that I hopefully don't mess it up. I'm going to shoot my 100 round, my 100 yard shot group and uh, then I'm going to shoot a 100 yard five round shot group with the Hornady and then we're going to go down the range and check it out. All right, so I'm about to use the six millimeter Creedmoor with the Badger Ordnance Action and the Bartline Barrel. Uh, first, I'm gonna shoot the burgers out of it, the uh, 105 grain factory offering from Federal. I'm gonna shoot a five round group with this. I've noticed a lot of times whenever I get Federal ammo, from the fact, like this is straight out of the store, I've noticed that a lot of times the brass looks really janky. I don't know if anybody else experiences that or not, but I've had that happen quite a few times, and it's only been with Federal. I'm not talking bad about Federal because their stuff still shoots awesome. Huh. It's a lot of space. Magazine. Is that accuracy international mode? Maybe. Anyway, all right, so about to shoot me a five shot group. And this action is, oh. Awesome. That was great. Alright, so 100 yards, five shot group.
So with the 224 Valkyrie, Ashton shot a three shot group that was a .35, which was the best group. Uh, that was with the 90 grain ammo. With the 88 grain Hornadies, he shot a 1.2. Three shot group. Three shot group, yeah. And uh, I shot with the 90 grain Federals, a 1.25. And a 1.25 also with the 88 grains. It's not your day. Pro yeah, it's probably just not my day. Now, with the 6 millimeter, uh, 6 millimeter Creedmoor, uh, the first group that I shot was way up here because the scope was actually already uh, dialed. It was not dialed back down. So my point of impact was up here, and that was a 0.84. Um, it's important to note that whenever a scope is adjusted, any little bit of cant makes a much bigger difference than whenever it's zeroed at that distance. So I'm going to I'm gonna say that most of that is because it wasn't dialed um, down to where it was supposed to be. So that was me probably canting the gun a little bit and stuff like that because it wasn't on zero. Then I made an adjustment and then I shot this group a .52 with the Hornady ammo. And then Ashton shot a .38 three shot group with the Federal and a .38 three shot group with the Hornady. So, both guns shot really well. Um, out of a gas gun, I pretty much expect it to be like one and a half or less. And keep in mind that is factory ammunition. Those aren't hand loads. You know, this is stuff I just bought off the shelf yesterday. So I could have even got a bad lot of ammo and it probably shoots way better than that. Or maybe because it is a one in seven twist, I believe it's a one in seven twist. Um, maybe it does prefer the 75 grain ammo. So I was shooting heavy stuff out of, out of it today. And, uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to chrono the ammo and uh, play with it out to 500 a little bit. All right, so I chronoed two shots of the Federal and got an average of about 2680. Um, and out of the Hornady, only one of the shots actually registered on my uh, Magneto speed, and that one came up to 2656. So those are the numbers that I'm going to run with. Uh, I'm going to shoot the 90 grain Federal right now and just kind of run it. All right, so 300 should be a 1.1. Yeah. I think this gas system, like this whole setup is so uh, light recoiling and everything. Like I could really see why this is, this is uh, popular as far as like like uh, precision rifle matches and stuff are concerned. All right, at 400, it should be a 1.9. Yep. Yep. And at 500, should be a 2.8. Yep. And at 535, I'm going to swag a number and say 3.2. Yeah. All right, so that was 300, 400, 500, and 535. Go back to three real quick and just fucking. All right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to shoot the Hornadies out of it. Keep in mind, these are 12, 12 by 18 targets. 12 by 18. So. Might do it a little bit faster this time because these numbers are easier to work with. They're actually really similar to the numbers that I run with the 75 grain uh, out to these distance. So it's 1.1, 2, 3, and 3.2. So I'm going to go 300, 400, 500, and 535. So, all right. the last and it went low right all right so the recoil impulse on this is awesome i could totally see why this is a match gun i would like to make some hand loads for it um and see what i could like really do as far as precision is concerned um but all in all this this gun is uh is pretty dope and i really like that trigger too all right actually one try it. yeah three four five
Yep. Yeah. Took a minute for the sound to get here. Was that on the 535? Yeah. Should have one more. It was jammed. Oh. I was being light with it. But I like it. All right. Do it with the Hornady now. Hornady. Hornady. 88 grains. Hit. That one was a miss. Couldn't hear it. Should give it two mils. That was a hit. There she is, and then 500. Get right edge. Yep, and then 535 in the back. And 535. <clears throat> Three. Two. Should be 3.2. It might have been the steak. Huh. I like steak. All right, so out of these Federals, um, I roughly got about a 3185 as my velocity for the uh, six millimeter Creedmoor. And uh, I'm gonna be shooting these now, so. My numbers are awesome too on this. Like uh, whenever I was uh, plugging them in to figure out what my holds were going to be at distance, I was like, "Ugh," because at 300 yards, the hold's only a .6. So I'm going to go for a headshot at 300. All right, at 400. Probably adjust my parallax a little bit. That's better. 400, I'm going to go for another headshot. That should be a 1.2. 500 is a 1.8. I'm going for another headshot. And then at 535, I guessed a number and just put two. I'm not going for a headshot. I'm shooting at a tank. So I'm going to shoot at the turret. And I hit the turret. Got one left. Go for another head. Uh, go for another headshot at 500. Should be a 1.8. I don't know if I hit that one or not. It looks like I might have nicked the left edge and it skipped off of it. That's what it looked like, but it doesn't mean that's what happened. All right, so now I'm going to do the same stuff with the Hornadies. I love, love this gun. This gun is stupid precise. And this action feels amazing. All right. 0.7 on the head at three. All right, now at four, 1.3 on the head. Five hundred. This one should be two on the head. That was a miss. That was two. Huh. Wind doesn't appear to be blowing, but those impacted pretty far right. Like my elevation was good. Huh. My elevation was good on those three shots, but they were off like a, a half target. That's weird. Huh. Maybe I was canting the gun. 
Yeah, I was canting the gun. Got excited. All right, so Ash, you ready to shoot it? Yep. All right, Ash, tell me what you're about to do. About to shoot Jamie Ogburn's six Creed. Yep, six millimeter Creed. And the action that I really want to buy for my gun as well. Add your ordinance? Love it, yes. Okay, you see what your holds are? Yep. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do a uh, headshot like you did. Cool attempt. Oh, my wind flag's kind of blowing into the camera. All right. 300. Impact. 400. Impact. Hundred and the tank. Get to the far left. And Man, that's a shooter. Got one left. Uh, one left. Tank again. Turret. Nice. A little lower. All right, Ash. So tell me what you think of the two Augburn guns that you just shot. I like both of them. The uh, Valkyrie I've gotten to shoot before out to seven or eight with Jamie with his hand loads and it shot well. And then I lost a couple matches to him <laughs> because of it. Um, but I'm a bolt guy and this is what I was excited to play with today. And what did you think of that one? Love everything about it. Just the chassis isn't my speed, but it it works. It doesn't slow me down. Bolt throw on the Badger is short and doesn't hang up like mine likes to do sometimes. I run the uh, Steeler Tac 30. On the 260? On the 260. Yeah. But I'm ready to swap up. I got a Bartland barrel on the way. Probably end up sending all this to Jamie and let him marry it up. Nice. Especially since I've seen how this one's shooting. Yeah. So I'm switching to Hornady now? Yep, the 105s, ELDs. That's a little different set. Those are the numbers on the left. Okay. <clears throat> These are the ones that shot so damn good. A little quick. All right. Two point? What is that? Two, two. On the tank. I pulled the last one. Ah. Just a touch low. All your fault. Yes. You blew it. 